This is Union Health Today. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Union Health Today. I'm Mike King, along with Natalie Schneider. Natalie is uh, the Training Center Coordinator at Union Health Center for Education, located at Union Hospital. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about the importance of knowing hands-only CPR. A more active life is closer than you think. Union Health now offers same-day orthopedic care. Call 812-242-3005. Union Health. Healthier together. And one of the things that you need to know is hands-only CPR. Natalie Schneider is here, and uh, she teaches people hands-only CPR every day. Natalie, it's good to see you. Thank you, Mike. It's good to be here. Hands-only CPR. It's quick and it's easy. Tell me what I need to know so I can maybe save someone's life. First of all, if you find a victim who's unresponsive and not breathing normally, if you've got a cell phone, get your smartphone, all right. put it at the shoulder, put it on speaker, dial 911. And then you put your hands right in the middle of the chest. Okay. Push hard and fast. And there is a song by the Bee Gees called Staying Alive. Sure. Old disco tune. It, yep. So when you're compressing, you are compressing to the beat of that song. And you're not hurting the person, right? No. You are not hurting the person. Um, sometimes even when we do CPR correctly, there may be a few injuries but that does not mean you're doing anything incorrectly. How long do we need to continue doing this? We will do this until help arrives, or until you can physically no longer able, you're no longer able to do it. So you should probably have someone to help you. Absolutely, here in the hospital, we teach our healthcare providers to change compressors about every two minutes. Okay, all right, hands-only CPR, you could save a life. For more information, go to myunionhealth. Dot org. Next week, Natalie will be here to talk about the use of AED.